do you think, um, I'm just kind of jump around here. Do you think people can use porn in a healthy way and uh, it not impact their life that much? Well, you know, that's a question I often get and it's challenging to answer. Uh, but I go back to what I said earlier and I don't think porn's effects are binary. And I don't think you can say that internet porn is analogous to other things like alcohol. Oh, if I have a couple of drinks, it's okay. Or playing video games. Because we don't have any innate uh, circuits for first person shooter or alcohol or even gambling. But we do have huge parts of our brain that are devoted to sexuality. And yeah. if you're masturbating and orgasming to internet porn, and you're probably watching people do, do internet porn, you know, they're watching movie stars, and you're often clicking from video to video, and you're searching for something new. In other words, you're training your brain to be aroused to being a voyeur, to clicking to something novel, to, to someone who maybe looks better than your wife, to acts that maybe your wife won't do. And so you're conditioning your arousal to that with a very powerful stimulus and with nature's most powerful reward, orgasm, and so it's it, that has to have an effect, even if it's occasional. So this doesn't say it's bad. It's just saying that internet porn is powerful. So I guess my bottom line is, what do you want to become aroused to? What yeah. do you want to train your brain to be aroused to? Real people or watching a screen? And if you want to be aroused to a screen, then continue watching a screen. If you want to be aroused to a real person, have sex with a real person. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. <laughs> and that's just the way I view it. And I think that's, yeah. that's valid because, you know, sex is very powerful in conditioning the reward system to go, oh, that's really important. I need to remember that. And I need those same conditions in order to get aroused. So if you continue to use porn, you're going to need those same conditions, which aren't matched in a real sexual encounter. And that's being a voyeur, that's clicking from video to video, and that's seeing things on a screen or particular porn stars on a screen that don't match reality. You can't control your mm -hmm. partner with a click of a mouse. One of the things that I've been asked about is, is all porn bad? I, I know some people that like to watch porn and they're a little bit more leisurely about it uh, and they even watch it with their partner and i've also known people who have been addicted you know one of my friends uh, had a really hard challenge with this to the point that he didn't want to go to class uh, he he just wanted to stay at home and watch pornography and then on the other spectrum there's people that just completely you know, have a complete disdain for it and think that it should just not exist whatsoever is there a middle ground no, well, that's a good question. Is there good porn and bad porn? And that's really a red herring. Uh, just to let you know, I'm a far left liberal. I'm not religious and I don't want to ban porn. But in terms of good and bad porn, that doesn't exist. It's, the question is not what's on the screen. Certainly there's some stuff that I think is disgusting, like gang rape or bestiality. Most people can agree to that. But some people can't. So what you do is you end up in endless debates about what's good and bad, and no one will ever agree. Rather, we need to go back to the brain and the effects. So if you're sitting there, and I got nothing wrong with, with Playboy or anything like that, if you're a young man and you're 15, and we've had a guy do this, who masturbated to just nude pictures, another guy just masturbated to swimming suit pictures, he ended up with erectile dysfunction because he needed to click through 1,000 to 2,000 separate images to get up enough energy to just ejaculate with a limp penis. So he had wired his sexual arousal to clicking from picture to picture to picture to picture in rapid succession. Was that porn? No, but he wired his brain into it. So it's not that something's good or bad, it's the result. It's the results. And what results do you want? Do you want to wire in your arousal to the screen or do you want to get more excited with a real person? That's the question you should really ask yourself. Mm. How does pornography affect sex then and relationships? Well, to, uh, in terms of sex, I've only seen the negative effects uh, on sex. Now, there are people who say, well, it can spice up your life. 
and maybe you can learn something. I don't know. But if you need to watch a screen in order to get aroused, aroused to the level you used to be aroused with your partner, then maybe you're some, doing something wrong with your partner. I don't personally don't want to have to need a screen to be aroused. I'd rather connect with my wife or my, you know, my wife and get my arousal that way.